The planet is falling apart and people are struggling to listen to Christians because of how much it's falling apart. Herein lies the deal. When you are super duper panicked, it's hard to get on your knees and pray. When there is a torrent, a flood, a hurricane, some kind of atmospheric disturbance in your ecosystem, it's very hard to enter into a fast and consecrate yourself to God in prayer. This is what's going on global citizenship. We are living in the last days where the great apostasy has commenced because you have shaken the earth so incredibly. You have gone on right ahead to seize the earth like an epileptic. Do you understand what I'm saying? To a point where human individuals on the planet are struggling to since there is no peace and there is a thunderous hurricane happening in the ecosystem. Get down on their knees and pray. You have made it very hard for people to trust an invisible God even though his qualities are all over creation. You have made it near and impossible for people to give their lives to Jesus Christ because you have created a tsunami out of people's countries. You have created a hurricane, a thunderstorm. You have made whirlwinds, essentially. Take people's lives away. You are dabbling with sorcery. You're doing all different kinds of weird stuff, creating stormy weather for people, making it therefore very hard for them to repent to Jesus Christ because it's very hard to pray to Christ in the midst of a storm. Peter took his eyes off Jesus because he was scared and so he ended up drowning. The Lord can still any storm. He can still any bad weather but you first gotta trust him it is far easier to repent and give your life to jesus christ when you are in a sunny day it is far easier to give your that's why the bible says today is the day of salvation the acceptable time of the lord the acceptable day of the lord it is far better for you to give your life to god when you're still okay you've got a good job when you're still okay your children are okay they're fed when you're still okay your house is paid for the bond the mortgage they're in it's far easier to trust upon the lord and grow in grace and grow in knowledge of him and so therefore grow in trust so that when stormy weather does come given that you've counted the cost of being a disciple you're not going to fall away but when all of a sudden everything is falling apart like no man's business you lose that job you, one of your children ends up falling sick and there is no money for medical aid when your mortgage is facing foreclosure your house is facing foreclosure on that day it's going to be really 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 rough to give your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ because everything is just falling apart. Wow. There are human beings on the planet that are causing this level of calamity, these level of storms in people's lives, costing them their careers, costing them their lives, making it very hard for them to give their lives over to Jesus Christ. However, in the stormy weather, in some turbulent waters, you are going to go for the next thing that you think is going to give you a safe landing, seeing as it's so showy and ornate to rescue. People are therefore turning to sorcery instead of Jesus Christ, creating a whole dastardly apostate generation of human souls on the earth. You are bringing about the great tribulation. It's that basic.